For our North Country History lesson, we kick off Women's History Month with the Lewis County story. Emily Griffin tells us about Florence Miriam Bailey. In Locust Grove, Lewis County, the Miriam family plot is the final resting place for a wealth of historical figures. Great-grandpa Nathaniel Miriam was an assemblyman and one of the county's earliest judges. His son Ayla was a military general who brought in many roads. Then his son Clinton was a congressman. The next generation brought another notable man, C. Hart Miriam, a famed zoologist, a line of distinguished gentlemen, and then Florence Miriam, who arguably outshone them all. She is probably generally known as the first lady of ornithology. She largely revolutionized the study of birds. It all started in the hills of Leiden, where the Miriam family had a mansion in the woods. She grew up running around through the woods, studying birds. That's where her interest came from. From an early age, Florence began documenting the birds around her, developing an understanding of them that was not yet studied. At the time, ornithology really consisted of studying dead birds. She was largely one of the first to cultivate the notion that you should get out in the wild, you should study birds in their natural habitats, and then write about them. By the age of 26, she published what's considered to be the first bird field guide, Birds Through an Opera Glass, which was the early name for binoculars. She is largely credited as being the person responsible for the use of binoculars in the study of birds and in ornithology. The book was a hit. She traveled extensively across the nation to continue her studies and bird activism. She took a very active role against the use of bird feathers in ladies' hats. And she lobbied Congress. Ultimately, legislation was passed outlawing that. Florence dedicated her entire life to her studies. She was the first female recipient of the Brewster Medal. She was a founding member of the Audubon Society. And she even has a bird named in her honor, the Bailey Chickadee. A lifetime of achievement that took flight here in the North Country. As we roll into Women's History Month and you look around, there are so many women that are worth noting. But if I had to pick one that every you know, school kid ought to know about, it's Florence Miriam Bailey. Emily Griffin, 7 News.